Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound once again. And if you're new, welcome and I hope you subscribe. So today I'm back at the Black Agate. If you remember, over there is where the old pit is. Right over here is where we found the new stuff, just over in the back of that hill. And I'm here with some new friends. We've got Quentin and Trey. So they're gonna join us here on this expedition. We're heading back up to the Black Agate because we wanna try and dig into it a little bit, see if we can find the vein where it's coming out. If you remember on the last video, we found the better stuff a little further down the hill and there's a good chance there's a vein in there somewhere and we're gonna try and see if we can find that today. Or maybe we'll do some more exploration around and see if there's any more outcrops of it, which there probably are. We just have to find them. So let's get at it. Let's get up there and start digging. Okay, we made it back to the zone. This is where we were finding all that stuff the last time. If you remember, I had put my buckets right down there and we were just searching all through this stuff and it's pretty much everywhere. You get little bits of it here and there. Hard thing is finding really good quality stuff. But you can see, black agate is all over. You can see little veins of it in some of the rocks. There's another one. It's got a little bit on it. So yeah, we'll look around and see if we can find any really good ones. Found this one. This looks pretty nice. I don't know how well you can see on there, but it's got some nice banding in it and there's red in it. So that's a nice little piece right there. That in the bucket. Hmm. There's a bunch of little things right here. Any of these any good? Uh, nah. Uh, a little better. How about that one? Yeah. So right here, I got two more nice pieces I found. Once again, got some nice red in there. Don't know how well you can see that. And then this one, this one's pretty nice. Nice agate there. It's got a pocket inside of it. Yeah, looking good. So these were coming out right through here. So look in here a little bit more. Found a nice little spill here. Got some veins going through that one. Got some going through that on that side. But this one I really like. It's got a lot going through it. That could be really nice. I'll keep that one. Anything else around here? Little veins in that. A little piece there. Not sure if that's any good. Oh, two pieces over here. Hmm. Probably not that. Maybe that. Just trying to find the good quality. Oh, that one. That one might be pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Some potentials here. Maybe. No, I'll keep looking around here and bring you back in if I find anything really good. Ooh, I think I might have found the real good piece. Ooh, and maybe there too. Okay, let's get these out. Ooh, that's looking good. That might be this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me get those sprayed off. I just sprayed it off. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful botryoidal habit right in the middle there. And then this piece, also very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, and that looks pretty nice too. And maybe, look at that thing. Oh, that looks good too. Right there, I just found this one. Look at that. Nice botryoidal habit. I wonder if there's some more right here in the darkness. Ooh, look at that one. 
Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that's nice. That'll look great. Another nice little vein. Looks like something right there. Oh, that's a nice one too. There's a bunch of nice ones right here. In the shade. So I'm a fair bit down now from where I was. Not seeing as much, but I did find this piece. It's not much on this side, but on this side, it looks really good. So I'm gonna get up there and wash it and see how it looks. And see if I can find anything on the way up. Oh, that looks like something right there. Oh yeah, that's nice. And this. Hmm. Maybe not as nice, but we'll wash it off to be sure. I think I see one over there. Right in there. Oh yeah, looks pretty decent. Once again, we'll get it up and wash it. Where's my weapon? I saw that. Look at that. Might be just the surface though, and it is. It's just the surface. That's unfortunate. Well, after spraying them off, most of them turned out to be kind of duds. But there were a few that were nice. This one was pretty nice. So we kept a few of the smaller ones. But yeah, the bigger ones, not so good. I just started walking back over here to look. And I think I might have just found a really good one. I'm going to go spray it off and find out. Let's spray this thing off. And we'll sit right there. Oh, that's looking good. Can't really see it right now, but I think that's gonna look really good. It's solid. It's got red in it. It looks like green too. Nice. Okay, I grabbed my bucket, started hiking up, and then I saw this. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's a little chip that came off of it right there. Ooh, let's spray that. Sprayed it off. Look at that. Look at that. That's going to be so nice. Oh, excited for that one. So we're heading north. The other two guys are just on the other side here. We found what, we, what we're doing is the main hill is is just two over from here. We decided to head north and see if we could find anything. So we found a little bit over there, and I'll show you some of the stuff that came from it. Kind of a fun little thin one, and and that pretty nice one, and this one was a really nice one that that came out of there. So very nice. I decided to keep coming. Because I figure if we just keep heading north, it'll keep coming in little bits and waves. And I think I see something really nice right here. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. Where did that come from? We are going to find where that came from. I think I found something. This looks like a depression, a big one, as in an old claim. They were digging out here for that agate. So, so the far hill you see here, just right here, that is the one where we've been on just finding the good stuff. And then remember back down that way, how I talked about that one little pit that I found that I was like oh this must have been the old pit but as I thought about it I was like if he'd been digging it for years that's a tiny pit but this is a much better size and apparently the quality here was such that he did not leave anything and why I think it is that thing is because 
Remember, I was coming up here and I said that one piece where I was like, whoa. I go get that piece again. Where'd it go? This piece. And I was like, whoa. Look at that thing. It's good. It's some of the highest quality I've seen. Well, guess where I found that? <laughs> right over here. Right there. So, that probably weathered out before they started digging this because it's on the side of the hill that it wouldn't naturally flow down, except maybe back in the day when the hill was bigger. So this is probably a piece of it that weathered out and I didn't find anything here, but I went up over there just on top and look what else I found. Look at that, a big piece of the black agate and another really nice piece. And these are definitely of a higher quality, thicker veins than what we find over there. So I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this was his old pit. So when he told that other guy that, oh, he just go south and there's that, it's probably the little teeny prospect he found to mislead him away from the actual main pit. I think this was the actual pit where they dug for the black agate. So right here, is kind of in between that hill and where I showed you guys the pit over here. And these these two guys have been finding some uh, very yellow-orange agates, kind of like a fire agate or a, like an orange. Um, carnelian. Carnelian, that's the word I'm trying to say. It's kind of, maybe spray one of these off, but. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, yeah see, you can see. Oh, there we go. Let's spray that one off. Or this one too. I found this one right here too. Yes. Here's some really good examples of what's coming out right here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful one. Oh, yeah, up to the sun even. So, yeah. You can see right through that sucker up at the sun. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, this is a neat spot. They're small, but the color is fantastic. We're in this area where we're looking for the orange, and right over there, look what I found. Look at that chunk. Look at the red in it. That's beautiful. What a nice find. Okay, I just found this right there. This has got to be the best piece we've found today. Oh, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's amazing. Definitely show you at home. Cleaned up. Close up. And I am back from the hunt. We found some good stuff. I just got everything cut, it's over here. And you gotta take a look. Some of this agate is beautiful. Here is the first piece. This is that one that was glowing up around here that you saw. I haven't cut it yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to cut it in a series of cuts like this or one large cut across it like this. I haven't decided yet. It's pretty neat though, I mean, that's a thick vein. Not a lot of banding going on though. So I don't know. Still, it looks quite nice. This is that vein I found where I was like, oh, there's red on the edge of it. So I just barely ground into it and the red started disappearing really quick. Unfortunate, but still, it's very nice. It's a very nice agate. You got black and white banding through it. You see how the light comes through it. Show you the light through it here. And then here's the other side of it. Haven't cut any more of it yet because there's just not a whole lot of it showing right now. But still, very nice agate. This is that smaller one I found like that. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can see some light coming through it. Show you some of that light coming through again. Look at those lines in it. It's beautiful stuff. Now remember at the end of the video where I said this might be the best one? 
Uh, it's pretty good, but it's not the best one. <laughs> so here it is cut open. Still very nice. That is a beautiful agate. And see so if we can get some light coming through it. It's still kind of thick. I left it thick to maybe do stuff with. So I don't know if you'll see much light coming through it. But yeah, it's still just beautiful. So this is that piece that I found on the hillside going up to where the, uh, apparently the main operation of digging for this stuff used to be. And it's, it's beautiful stuff. We'll just go through these one at a time. It's really nice. neat stuff and here's the final one this one was one that I, I saw and I didn't think much of it other than it looked good but when I cut it it ended up being the best one so let's just go through the pieces so this one was fractured and fell off look at this though look at that white circle on the right isn't that just cool and that was the edge piece look it's not much there but Wow. And you got this piece. Yeah, you can see that fracture going through it. That's how come that other piece broke off. Just look at that stuff. Just stunning pieces. Whoop. Dropped it. Okay. Had a beautiful red in it. And the end, the last end piece. But yeah, just, just look at that. It's so pretty. So I showed you the best pieces I found. I did find half a bucket full, right? I've got quite a few other ones, but those were the best looking ones. The rest are just going to be more stuff, but of lesser quality. So I didn't want to bother cutting through all those and just looking at all of them. So maybe in a later video, I'll do a cutting video of going through some more of those agates to see what else we can find in them. But these were the best and they were beautiful. They were spectacular. So you guys know where it is now. So go out there, see what you can find and maybe you can find a deposit that I haven't found yet. And next week, I'm gonna take another trip to Topaz Mountain to kind of a secret location that I found about 15 years ago, maybe less, not, more like 13 years ago, but still. And I'm going to share that with you guys. So look forward to that next week. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.